in Book 9 of the Aeneid, Turnus and his allies take advantage of Aeneas' absence and march on the Trojan fort. Although they want to fight, the Trojans follow Aeneas' instructions to retreat inside their walls. Scornful and angry, Turnus fires torches and approaches the Trojan fleet. The mother of the gods, who abides near Troy, appeals to her son Jupiter not to allow the Rutulians to destroy them. Granting the request, Jupiter turns the Trojan ships into sea nymphs. <laughs> On the walls of the Trojan settlement, Nisus sees a way to get through the Rutulian camp and inform Aeneas of the situation. His companion, Euryalus, insists on going along with him. Ascanius promises rich treasures if they succeed. Nisus and Euryalus sneak through the Rutulian camp, killing many enemies. Young Euryalus takes a decorated helmet as a trophy, a fatal decision. As they sneak toward the woods, Rutulian cavalry spot them when moonlight glints off the helmet. Nisus gets away, but Euryalus is caught. Nisus returns for his friend, but both comrades are killed. Turnus's troops attack the Trojan walls. As the fighting intensifies, someone opens the Trojan gates in the excitement of battle. At first, the Trojans kill many of Turnus's people, but Turnus arrives and turns the tide of battle. When the gates are finally closed, Turnus is already inside the Trojan fort. He wreaks havoc until a squadron of Trojans beats him back. He seems trapped, but boldly escapes through the Tiber River. Unlike Aeneas, Turnus suffers from hubris, exaggerated or foolish pride. He compares himself to Achilles at Troy, taking Troy's fall as a sign that he will be victorious, and he maniacally boasts that his fate is to stamp out these accursed people with my sword. The nature of the relationship between Nisus and Euryalus, whether their love is friendly or romantic, is ambiguous and continues to be debated to this day but their tragic end is one of the most poignant in the Aeneid. They are young, beautiful, and bold, and they die together. Virgil's portrayal of war is considerably more nuanced than in a typical epic. The deaths of soldiers on both sides of the conflict are portrayed sympathetically, with no sense of one side being better than the other. Virgil's typically vivid imagery applied to battle scenes contributes to this, creating a jarring mix of glory and gore. Just like in Homer's epics, the bodies of notable enemies who are captured are often abused and displayed to the other side as a grim and decidedly disturbing sign of victory. <laughs>